Thanks for staying tuned. Time for the sports news. Here is Kayode Alayode. Welcome to Sports News. Nigeria's Super Eagles have ended their 2018 World Cup qualification campaign unbeaten after playing a one all draw against Algeria. John Ogu gave Nigeria the lead on 62 minutes. But with just two minutes to play, Algeria equalized from the penalty spot through Yassine Brahimi. Straight down the middle. And it's 1 1. And we're going to have another little push and shove. With the results, Nigeria ended the qualifiers with four wins and two draws from six games. Now, Patrice Evra has been sacked by Olympic Marseille after he was banned until June 2018 for kung fu kicking a fan. Evra was sent off before Marseille's Europa League defeat against Victoria on November the 2nd after lashing out at a supporter. UEFA charged him under Article 15 of their disciplinary regulations, banning him from their club competitions until June next year. The former Manchester United defender was also, has also been fined 10,000 euros. Now, world number one Rafael Nadal is confident of being fit for the ATP World Tour finals in London. Nadal has been struggling with a knee problem but practiced today at the O2 Arena and hopes to be ready for his opener against David Goffing on Monday. We end sports news tonight on the courts, and that's it. I'm Kai Dialandi. Many thanks for watching. Some foreign news: 18 militia men are on trial in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo on charges of raping 46 children. Some of the victims from the village of Okavumu were just 18 months old. The men allegedly targeted young girls between 2013 and 2016 because a spiritual advisor told them that the blood of virgins would grant them supernatural protection. The alleged militia leader, Frederick Batumike, a provincial legislator and other defendants, deny the charges. Rights groups hope the trial will help to end the culture of rape as a tool of war in the DRC. U.S. President Donald Trump has warned that the United States would no longer tolerate chronic trade abusers. Addressing leaders at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Da Nang, Vietnam, President Trump said the United States was prepared to work with APEC countries as long as they abided by fair reciprocal trade. In stark contrast, China's Xi Jinping said globalization was irreversible and voiced support for multilateralism. President Xi vowed to continue making efforts to see to the development of the free trade area of the Asia-Pacific as well as the building of a community of shared future for mankind. The United States will no longer turn a blind eye to violations, cheating, or economic aggression. Those days are over. We will no longer tolerate the audacious theft of intellectual property. We will confront the destructive practices of forcing businesses to surrender their technology to the state and forcing them into joint ventures in exchange for market access. And the main news again, the Christian Association of Nigeria today demanded the country's exit from all religious organizations as Muslim groups asked for people-centered policies from the APC-led administration during a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari in Abuja. That's tonight's News at 10. Thanks for being with us. My name is Ladi Akiri Dulwale. Do have yourselves a wonderful weekend ahead. Good night.